Hi everyone, I'm Olga and you're on my channel about cross stitch. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, and this is my mid year whip parade. Uh, last video, I asked if you want to see uh, which of my whips uh, survived my big decluttering, my big stash cleaning. Uh, and uh, some of you said yes, and I decided to just film it, mostly for myself, uh, to know what I have, um, what I'm working on, and in what state of these uh, whips are. Uh, they're not in a chrono chronological order, I just uh, will grab them and show you. Uh, I hope I unzipped all my bags. Um, if I don't, I am sorry uh, in advance. Uh, both of my dogs are here in the room with me and probably they could bark or make another doggy noises, or which all dogs do. Sorry about that too. I ironed my uh, whips as much as possible just to make them presentable. For you. Uh, some of them are in cue snaps and hoops, so they will stay in there when I will show it to you uh, just because I'm working on them. Um, and uh, all the area I stitched is in a hoop or cue snap. Okay, uh, I'll start with the kits I have as works in progress. And the first one is Design Works Route 66 Christmas Diner. For now, it's my oldest whip uh, and uh, the biggest one in my collection for now, in my work in progress collection. So here it is. I started it in January 2023 and I finished all the cross stitch in there and all I have left is back stitch and some beading. Those trees have beads on them like their lights and the diner itself has beads on it as a lights, like Christmas lights too. It's pretty noisy in the neighborhood, but they have my windows opened because it's too hot not to have them open. Okay, here it is. Uh, I'm planning to uh, finish it in November, December uh, for the Christmas, for the upcoming one, <laughs> I hope so. Uh, it was a mistake to leave the back stitch for the end, but yes, I know, but well, okay. Uh, it's in a 14 count white Ada and all the kit flosses. I use the Maison bags for my projects uh, because they're uh, same size and it's easier to store them in the place I store them so and I use this uh, style of uh, floss organizer and uh, it doesn't keep my floss as neat uh, but at least they're all on one organizer and design works organizers are not so good quality so yes uh, this one is my oldest and biggest whip for now. I don't know where to put them all. I have something around like 21, I think. Okay, uh, my next one is Oven Kit. And this is Summer uh, Field Puppies. Uh, the artwork is by Sergei Kolba, the Ukrainian uh, artist. And uh, here is what I have. It's like 
46% done and all I have left is the sky and some of the field and one uh, horse on this side so yes we'll show it to you up close it's not so big it's just full coverage dense stitching which I love but yeah it will take time to finish and probably I will later in summer if now I don't feel like poppies or field it's not too hot uh, for me <laughs> okay so it has some back stitch on it but it's not so complicated as in on design works so yes i will uh, leave it for the last okay i think i have like four or five kits in my works in progress we'll see my next one is the kit from magic needle peonies and hydrangea And I'm stitching it with all the kit materials. It's 14 count gray Ada and uh, DMC floss. And I color completed two colors in the kit. Not so much. Um, if you ask me if I want to continue on this kit, yes, I do. Uh, but probably later on. It will be beautiful when it's done. Uh, the colors in it are stunning, bright and cheerful, and yes, it's lots of them. It's like 56, I think, something around 50 colors. Yeah. People asked to show my organizers, like my flosses. I will um, in the kits, but with my patterns, usually I don't keep like DMCs in a bag. I use my master set. Okay, my next kit is small. It's Panna Kit. Uh, the name of it is To Mars. And originally, uh, this is the cover for the Passport book. Um, it's a, <laughs> yes, astronaut going to Mars, hitchhiker, and I started that uh, in March uh, for my husband's birthday, and that's what it looks like now. It's really small, and I decided that I will frame it. After that, it, will, it wouldn't be the uh, cover for the passport. So I have the back of the <laughs> vehicle uh, and all the stars above. It was a pain <laughs> to stitch all of them. I carried my floss a lot, which I don't like, but it's okay, it's fine. It could be finished pretty quickly, but I'm lazy, so it's lingering in my box. And I use just a little, I don't know, like pouch I got in a, a top knot stitcher grab bag to put this small kit in there. So, yeah. Okay. My next week is the Easter stitching. Uh, it's from the Sissels and I think I don't have... Oh yeah, I have. <laughs> I have it. So this is a small one. Uh, it calls Easter Bowl. The name of it is Easter Bowl. And I started it on Easter this year. Um, the colorful linen is cappuccino 32 count 
uh, by Wicks, I believe. She still has these actual photos as a cover photos. Uh, I'm stitching, uh, so the cappuccino 32 count uh, Wicks is a cold for. And I'm stitching that with all the cold for gentle art, which are not in a bag. Actually, this sweep don't have a doesn't have a bag. It's just in a package. And here's where where I'm at. I stitched all uh, the bunny and all the eggs, and now I just have to finish the bow. Probably next Easter it will be done, but for now it's like that. I think this uh, week's is an old one and it's pretty sparse, uh, but it fits. Yeah, as I said, my dogs will bark. Their corgis, they're pretty much vocal. Okay, uh, next one. I showed you in my last video, I started it in June, and it's Patriotic Welcome uh, by Imaginity. I will <laughs> find the cover photo in a box. I believe it's in there. Yeah, those whip braids couldn't be too organized. I don't know how you people organize, like, like are so organized, I don't know. I don't, so bear with me, please. Okay, here's the patriotic welcome. Uh, it's a pattern from Imaginating. Uh, I started it in June, as I said, and uh, I stitched most of it. Uh, I thought that I will finish till the uh, 4th of July, but when I realized that I will not, I actually... <laughs> lose my steam uh, with it, so I just stopped. It's on 28 count a white jobelin and uh, yeah, and it's called for DMC. As I said, I work for my master set of DMCs. Usually I just stitch with one color, then put it down, like in a, put it back in the box, and then stitch another color. So that's how my DMC work. But I will show you later that um, it's not the rule I always <sighs> following. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. I like that the colors. Only picture and uh, only stitching are equal. I already told you that. So yes, it's pretty, and I will work on it in summer just to finish it and just display it until autumn. <coughs> I hope. Yes, and I showed you this uh, aquarel marker boo boo on a jobilon, but it's okay. It will go under the frame. And I have frame for it. I just didn't finish it. It's small. It's not uh, so much work. Okay. Uh, then my next one, I have just a <clears throat> digital markup because I bought a PDF. It's Black Vintage Sampler by Our Forest Embroidery. That is how it looks like. I started it this spring and uh, I think I worked on it like five days maybe. So I have a border. The bones of the border done and uh, the uh, top of the border and uh, half, like a little bit more than a half of the uh, right side. Oh, no, it's left side. Ah, oh, it's all backwards. Well, not so easy. 
I'm stitching it on 37 count Russian tea cake by Excess Commodities. It's one of my favorites linens. Uh, I like the color, I like the count. So yeah, and I wore it with uh, Cold for All Forest Embroidery Floss. Yeah, I tried to make it one thread a day project, but yeah, uh, not now, not now. Okay. Ooh. My next one uh, is my big toe designs. Um, to everything there is a season. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, but I'm really slow with it. Um, but it's okay. I think we will go there. We will get there. Okay, uh, my big toe for everything there is a season and I'm stitching it on 40 count flex by its Weigert and uh, that's what I have. Yes, I started on a border. This border is pretty count heavy, let's say. Uh, it's just two colors of NPI silks I'm using. I love it. It's a beautiful piece. I want it on my wall. One, <laughs> one day, one day I will get there. And it survived all the cleanings. So, because I like it so much. Okay, I will show you my SALs. And then I will show my other whips, which are in the box. With these SALs, I will start with my In Praise of Pollinators by the Blue Flower. I'm doing this as a stitch along with my friend Patty and with the um, Instagram Lala D Stitches, Laura. Uh, she has an assignment for every month uh, for us to stitch, so I follow the um, assignments and for now i did uh, may and june ones and uh, here's what it looks like i stitch with uh, all called for floss it's a mix of dmc and some mm, classic color works i believe uh, and uh, this is 40 count stormy night by zweigart so yeah here it is, Shoot up close. As I said, those uh, which are not uh, just in a bag, uh, on a Q-snaps, I will show in a Q-snap. It's not so wrinkled, so it's fine. It's my one SEL. Another one uh, is by Quaternion uh, Creations on Etsy. And this is Fairy Tale Forest. For now, <laughs> I'm all cut up with it. Uh, it's like four parts so far, the frame and three parts. And now we have a cut up week. So this one will take rest till the next uh, part will be released. Uh, this is 18 count. Um, Ada by Fiber and Whim in a color mint and called for DMC. It's just three colors. And uh, my last one, oh, sorry for bending, but I have to. Okay, so these two, uh, it's uh, the Stitch Along by Tempting Tangles. I'm stitching it on 32 count uh, pink chocolate be stitch me fabric. It's uh, I believe it's Lugana and uh, the cold for floss and dinky dyes. So I stitch it with the dinky dyes floss. And of now we have like 10 parts out of 16. And here I am. I got up with all my stitch alongs. All the whips in my box, uh, almost all of them are new starts, but I will show you everything. 
Um, I showed it in, in my last video on 29th of June, uh, but if you don't want to uh, go and look there, I will show it here and for the whip parade, um, I think it will be better. Okay, my next whip is the Rosewood Manor, the Hawthorne Hill Sampler. Looks like that. I'm stitching it on 28 count ale by Picture Vist Plus with gold for Wigs Dye Works. And here is where I'm at. Oh, I hope it wasn't so loud. It's my few snap clip. Okay. Um, I worked on it like for four days, I believe. And now it's in a box so closer to my stitching spot to continue to work on it. Usually I use all the cold fours if I could have them. So it's a long way to go, a long way. Uh, my another whip is Dwelling Place by Teresa Cogut. It's a beautiful sampler. I love it so much. When I saw it, I decided that I will buy it. I did. So here is the picture. What I'm doing here, I'm I'm trying to finish one uh, page in a month. And so far I got two pages done. I'm stitching on 40 count flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit, one over two, uh, with gold for DMC. Oh, it's look, it looks beautiful. It's one of my favorite projects, like favorite, favorite. Yeah. A lot to go to, but it's okay. I think with those beautiful things, you couldn't rush. You just go through them with all the pleasure. My next whip was a new star. Uh, and uh, it's carriage house samplings, bees in her bonnet, pretty lady in a hat. I like ladies in hats. <laughs> and this one is so cute. And so summary. Well, I have it on a Q-snap and I have the hat done, almost done. I need the darkest color on the brim here and the hat will be done. Uh, it's on 32 count um, vintage country mocha by its Spygard. Uh, the Cold Four is Vintage Country Mocha 2. I think the model is stitched on 36 count, but I decided to make it a little bit bigger to go on my shelf in summer. We'll see how I will realize this plan. Um, I hope I will. Okay, uh, my next one is a small start. Uh, by the pattern is by uh, Ukrainian designer Hanna Livchuk, My Brave Stitch. And uh, this is Girl in a Wildflower hat. Looks like that. It's a PDF from Etsy. I have a thing with the <laughs> girls in the hats. And uh, here is my smallest start. Uh, it's on 32 count, and this linen looks like an old wix, uh, probably flax uh, or beige, uh, so it's just the maybe ivory, so it's unnamed, I don't know, I just had this small piece in my stash and I decided to use it. Uh, these patterns are made for a hoop finish. These hoops are not so big. So yeah, I, I will need another hoop or a round frame. As I told you in the last video, I have some plans for her, for her 
fully finishing. We'll see. Uh, it's not so big. It just needs its time to just sit and stitch on it. It's just a small start. Another small start from the same designer, Hanna Livchuk, My Brave Stitch. Is girl on the pier. Here you can see all the Instagram information of the designer. I just started it, just started color completion as I do usually. Uh, it's in a hoop. Uh, this is 27 count Linda by Zweigert uh, of white with all called for DMC. Uh, it's just like a couple of hours of work, probably less than a couple of hours. So that's what I have for now. But it's okay, it will get there, you know, like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. My next one is a new star too. It is Strawberry Blonde by Cottage Garden Samplings. I think the glare is not so terrible. Uh, I started all these uh, two brave stitches and uh, this one and Bees and Her Bonnet and a couple of other ones in one day. It was like a marathon, uh, my personal one, uh, two hours um, with, with each start. Uh, so Strawberry Blonde is stitching on 40 count Winter Moon uh, by Zweigert, I believe. Zweigert or Witchelt with MPI silks. Uh, they're in there. Oh, I showed the pattern. Sorry. You didn't see that. So, all code for NPIs. And I got a pitiful tiny start. Uh, 40 count is a little bit small for me, so I'm so slow with that. Stitched one over two with NPI, as I said, just started. I'm not hoping to finish it to the end of the summer, but maybe next year. We'll see. Uh, for now, uh, I put it aside. Uh, another one on 40 count is The Labor of Learning by Plum Street Samplers. I love it, so probably it's next, uh, which will go from here to the finish, <laughs> as I say, but I don't know, probably it will. Uh, it's on 40 count, again, Winter Moon. It was the same piece as uh, the uh, Strawberry Blonde one. I just cut it in two and uh, I'm stitching this uh, one over two on this Winter Moon and I have just a small bird done. I started on the top left corner as I do usually and I will go down and then aside. I'm stitching with gold for some of the gold for uh, classic color works or the other gentle arts. The gentle art. I have some of them and uh, if I don't have any gold for Fancy floss, I just sub it with the DMC. It's okay, I like it. So, it was a start. Um, okay. And then I will show you three starts you didn't see in my last video because I just started them. I told you that I bought myself another long dog. It's a new one. Uh, the name of it is uh, Love from the First Sign. It looks like this. And I told you that I will find the ideal combination of the fabric and floss. And for me, I think I found one. This is 40 count mellow linen. 
and just DMC 310, one over two. And I think I love it the most. So I will stitch all my long dogs on this mellow linen. I think it's a perfect neutral color and the 310 is the universal and perfect color for the heavy long dog. <laughs> this one is pretty dense stitching. Uh, and uh, as I told you, this long dog I like the most because it doesn't have any heavy frame and you just start with the creatures and the small, like, tiny people. Look at this guy in a hat <laughs> on a windmill. Oh, it's so cute. So, yeah. I love it. I couldn't stop with it. It's just maybe a couple of hours of work and I have just... 500 stitches in there and uh, 75,000 to go, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I think uh, it will be the one long dog I'm working on because I UFO'd my three others because I didn't like the fabric floss combinations on them. I will restart them eventually. Uh, probably I will uh, restart another one when this one will get there the like 50 percent mark we'll see yesterday i started a new stitch along uh it's from Gigi, uh the artsy housewife i'm in her patreon and this was the pattern for june you still can have it uh, if you join her Patreon, uh, I think it will be there till the middle of July. Uh, the name of it is Within a Dream. And uh, I started it yesterday, as I said, and that's what I have. It's a long, narrow piece, uh, and almost everybody started from the border, and I decided that I want my raven in. So I started, uh, I counted uh, to the raven and I will stitch the raven first and then I will go down uh, on the branch and then on the moss and then to the skull and then I will do the border because the border is the most colorful one in this piece and uh, I want the main characters first. We have two of them, a raven and a skull. Uh, some people don't want to stitch a skull, so Gigi made uh, this uh, picture, uh, split it in two. Uh, one is with the raven, another one with the skull, but I will do the whole thing because I like it too much. I'm stitching it on 32 count, limestone. I think it's just Zweigert, um, Lugana, and uh, this is all DMC floss. I know that Roxy Flosco has the color conversion for this and a thread pack, but I decided to go with DMC and I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, and today I had another start. Um, I saw this on Instagram and the it's kind of SEL. And the name of it is Bring Your Kit Out. Bring Your Kit Out, I believe, is the hashtag. Uh, and I brought my oldest ever kit I ever had in my possessions. And this is Sunset uh, Desert Blooms. I had it for years, years and years and years. And this is no count cross stitch. It's pretty fast to do. It was a thing when I was in school and in college. And then it's like, you still could buy these kits on a secondary market, like on eBay uh, or Distash, so somewhere like that. And <laughs> I decided to stitch it. It's from 1989. And I started it today and I'm working on my cactus here. 
so looks like this and i worked in this area some of this the good thing it's absolutely mindless stitching uh you just follow the pattern uh, so as you can see it's like areas you should just fill in with the color I love it I love the colors of it it's like long panel and I like cacti I have a small collection of them so I decided to finally stitch it well I will and probably next video I will show you the finish because it goes pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, here is all my whips. Um, as I said, it's 21. I think I didn't forget anything. If I did, I will tell you next video. Uh, but I think I didn't. Uh, I don't think it's a lot. Um, I'm okay with more than 20 whips. Uh, you know that I'm a fast stitcher, and uh, if I'm sitting and actually stitching that, it will go pretty quickly. Uh, any of it. Um, I don't have specific goals for my whips. I don't have specific time I should finish some of them uh, I just teach what I want when I want I so I tried with the plans and nothing works for me uh, so no plans for now I am just stitching sporadically on my whips uh, the one thing uh, like the one rule I'm following is uh, catching up with all my uh, SALs. Uh, other than that, I'm stitching everything I want, when I want. If I want to stitch 10 uh, crosses, I will do it and switch the uh, project. Uh, I'm trying to stitch at least 500 uh stitches on each of my projects when i actually pull it out so here i am with my whips <laughs> i hope you like them um if you have any questions about the whips um i will link my instagram and my email uh, down below so you can and I believe I have my Facebook uh, in there too. So I will link it down below and you can reach me on Facebook, on Instagram or by email. And I will answer all of your questions. Um, I think that's it. I hope you like it. I will try to upload it as soon as possible. And probably you will see it today's evening on youtube i don't know when <laughs> when you will watch it but still uh i see you in the end of july with my july stitching and for now have the nicest july happy fourth of july you all uh tomorrow we will celebrate birthday of our america and uh have a great celebration stay safe Take care. See you in the end of July. Bye.